it's okay, it's okay. I am Dorothy Appin from Bukalas Agricultural College. On behalf of the intern from Bukalasa, I'm here to give a brief report of our stay during our internship here at Woody Leisure Farm. With me here, I'm with my friend, we are two so far, but we are three during the internship. I'm with the boy in the middle. First and foremost, with great pleasure, I want to thank our principal, Mr. Solo, for connecting us to Good Leisure Farm because it has been it has been so good to us in that we have acquired more skills which we never had. What we had been learning in school, we have been able to put into practice. We have been able to learn more skills, especially on poultry, figure, vermiculture, aquaculture, and other sectors. I would like to appreciate the directorate of this of Good Leisure Farm for accepting us from the different institutes to be here for this period of time. We have been here for a month and we really appreciate her for whatever activities she has made us get involved in during our stay here. We have taken part in various activities with her guidance, the business oriented activities, other farming practices, especially urban farming. We really appreciate Dr. Gutula and the team. Thirdly, we want to appreciate the management of Good Leisure Farm for being cooperative and accepting to work with us. Though we're just fresh from school, but they accepted to take our ideas and also incorporate new ideas into us. That has helped us a lot. Generally, we appreciate the farm for they have been part, they have been part of our journey of success in improving our CVs because at this now when we are going for any job, any job we are writing any job application, we can boldly say we have experience. <laughs> I want, to, I want to give some few recommendations, especially for the animal sector. I would recommend that we increase on the livestock, especially the cattle, and the shorts, those are the goats and the sheep, such that the animal students who will be coming here in the near future will maximum benefit from it. And then I would also recommend more skilled personnel on the various sectors to be employed, to, to have every activity move well. And then I would also recommend our farm building to be maximally utilized, because I can see there that building, if we would put there poultry, it would work very well. Lastly, I want to conclude by thanking everyone and for coming here and I want to say we are more than privileged to be part of the alumni of Good Leisure Farm. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Dorothy, representative from Bukalasa. She has been here not as intern but as an experienced seeker. Mm -hmm. She finished her studies but she's looking for experience. So brothers and sisters, if you have brothers who are there looking for experience, this is a very good source of that. Yeah, you will excuse me some, so, so just some small thing. Uh, I thought our director had welcomed everyone during the course of this. But uh, I, I'm going to take this pleasure to welcome her, to just give some small introductions and welcome remarks. You never know, maybe we may need to understand the people we are seated with. All that is highly required. Asante San. Karibu. Thank you very much, Kenneth, our master of ceremony. We have so many distinguished guests that I'm not going to follow protocol, but I want to introduce you so that people know who is here. Our guest of honor, Mr. Gideon Badagawa, the director of the Private Sector Foundation, our director, Extension Services, Ministry of Agriculture, 
the Swedish team in terms of protocol, but we have a team from the Swedish University and the Switzerland. Maybe you stand up and wave. <laughs> we have representatives from the colleges that we have been hosting. We have from the Fisheries Training Institute, <laughs> the Palace Agricultural College, Jera Agricultural, oh yeah, I was looking for you. We have our ecosystem partners. I've had the people from uh, RVC, ABI Trust. I don't know the other ecosystem partners that are here that I may not have recognized, but we shall have an opportunity to recognize them. I want to recognize the parents of our interns. We ask some of the interns that have their parents and relatives nearby to invite them so they can witness the work they have done. Directors of Goody Leisure Farm, Professor Robert Basaza, Bill Basaza and Bob Basaza, but I'm sure they are busy out there. Our staff, led by our manager, Mr. Musa Hassash, and uh, our consultant, Apratain. I want to organize our returns from the three different institutions. We have those from Fisheries Training Institute, we had nine of them. Fisheries, you go. <laughs> we have those from Chair Agricultural College, we had 15. And in the Kalasa, we had three. Then we had our team that was organizing all our meals. I think they are present here. They did, they made sure, he, she's our director for outreach, and she was in charge of making sure that all our meals are on time and they're there. The interns will give a testimony. Then I also want to recognize our director for communication, Henry. He's the one in charge of the Goody TV. Goody Leisure Farm has a TV that helps us to communicate whatever we are doing, our innovations, to a wider audience. Then there is the media, invited and uninvited, that are also here. They help us to communicate whatever we do as a farm. So today is a very exciting day for us as Goody Leisure Farm. It is one of those days where you celebrate having extra hands that are going to do the work that you would like to do. As Goody Leisure Farm, we committed ourselves to transform 200,000 smallholder farmers by the year 2026. And all the innovations that we are doing here at Goody Leisure Farm they are geared towards increasing productivity of the smallholder farmer. Many of you that know how the smallholder farmer is doing their work, there is a lot of time poverty. They are working so hard, they wake up so early, and earn so little. And we are saying we cannot keep quiet, seeing the majority of the people in our country living like that. We are putting a lot of research, and with the students that you send us, they help us to be able to achieve some of the results, test out some of the models that we have. We truly thank you for giving us extra hands to help us do our work. I also want to recognize my father-in-law and the head of the clan, Mr. Chris Basaza. So with the interns, it is one of the projects that we do for the youth. We have nine projects that target the youth among the things that we do. But the interns is very special because they bring in knowledge and they are also able to help us translate knowledge quickly. And when they spend their time here, a period of normally two months, two months, three days, they are able to understand our philosophy. We are promoting organic farming. We are promoting zero waste farming. We are promoting supporting the smallholder farmer to be productive. And we know they are the people that reach the people that we are not able to reach. Right now, as Good Leisure Farm, we are working with 63,720 smallholder farmers in 11 districts in Uganda. And with these farmers, 
we are interested in supplying them our, our white meat, seeds, that is pigs, piglets, fish, fingerings, chicken, chicks. But before we do that, we always have to train them so they can make the best out of what they are doing. When you moved around and saw the different innovations, the low-cost feed innovations, the renewable energy innovations, they are all geared towards making the smallholder farmer productive. And anybody who can help us in doing that job well is always welcome. This period that we have had with the interns has been very exciting for us. These are very young people, full of a lot of energy. They have done a lot of their work and we have documented this in a book of 104 pages. Each one of you is going to get a copy of what they have done when they were here. And we have a documentary of one hour which shows who did what, when and how. So this will be, we shall give you copies, but you can also, it will be, it will be accessed through our Goody TV channel. We shall give you the link to the video. And we believe the young people can use it as reference and say, if you want to know the work I did, watch this video, you will see me, I'm the one on minute five. I think that kind of evidence is going to be required in the world of today. The interns got involved in so many enterprises on this farm, and we do not really care that you are from fisheries, you should only look at fish, because we believe when you go into the world of work, if I'm going to employ you as my manager, I expect you to know a wide range of things in the different enterprises. So they had an opportunity to rotate within the different enterprises. The exciting thing about this internship also is that we had three colleges. Normally we have one college at a time. This time we were able to fertilize ideas. You would find probably the interns of Kalasa, they know something which the ones of fisheries need to know. So there was a lot of fertilization of ideas. There was a lot of friendship that was created. We had debates. We had so many ways of learning that are, are also exciting. We did a lot of fitness. We know that farmers need to be fit. We did a lot of dancing, and we're going to be dancing for you the way we've been dancing here. We have enjoyed them. We are going to miss them, but we are happy that they are going into the world where they are going to spread what we want to spread. And we are promised they are going to do that. The one thing that we did, and we are happy that we did it, from the background of business, and knowing that we are part of the private sector, which also supports the program of interns, we encourage them to see agriculture as a business and take that out there. Each one of them was able to, do, to look at a problem tree, identify a problem within agriculture. From their problem tree, they were able to do a strategic business plan framework. They did a logical framework. They did a business model canvas. They did a cost-benefit analysis. Each one of them has a business they are ready to start. And actually some of them, I think like Peter, has already talked to his parents. They have already committed to invest money in him to start on the business. And these are businesses that have been started practically, meaning that you have an opportunity to invest in a business of a young man who has started it and he knows that it's going to work. So that's also an opportunity for us out there. During their stay, we also had an opportunity to bring in 22 people to inspire them. These are people from different fields. They were telling them about different soft skills that they require in their life of work and in their life as students. You will see the detail of all these people in the book, but among them were former interns like Adrian, who was able to tell them her life here and how the different tools she got from here have transformed her own life. We thought that was better to be told from somebody else than us telling them that these tools are very important. It's better to know them from somebody else who has experienced them. During their stay here, they were also able to learn more about our business model. They were here when we were launching our August suite. We invited all our agents from 30 districts. They participated. They saw how businesses market their own products. They also participated in marketing our own pro programs here. They went to the community, looked for market on our behalf because there is no use for you to do anything when you cannot market it. And we thought that was a very important aspect of their learning. They got involved in two value addition because in the end, if we are farmers, we want somebody to eat our product or dress the material from our product. So they did a lot of cooking, a lot of roasting, a lot of baking, and today they are the ones who did all the cooking. 
their food is here and we are going to test it, then we can award marks and if we want them to start the restaurant, they will be able to start the restaurant. We want to thank all the people in our ecosystem that invest in us, give us the knowledge, give us the support, give us the motivation to be able to support young people. It is not always cheap. It's exciting. It's something you want to do. You want to have as more as possible. We actually had 43 interns that had signed up to come. But we couldn't take all of them. It also comes at a cost. But we are glad we have people that invest in us to make sure that we are able to support these interns and ex expose them to the world of work so they take an informed decision as they go to the world of work. Something which I found very interesting, all along I knew that when people go to study agriculture, they are looking forward to working for us. We interviewed each of these interns. They are all thinking of starting a business. We are now in a trend of having job creators, and that is something very exciting. Each one of them says, even if I'm to go back to school, I want to get my diploma, I want to finish my degree, but I want to start a business. So today, we are here looking at people who are going to start businesses. And that is something that we need as a country. The other thing which I found shocking, these are people that are not actually thinking about marriage. We asked each one of them, and they don't want to be nuns, they don't want to be priests, but they are saying they want to marry at 40. We found that. Yes, I am telling the truth. We interviewed each one of them and were asking, where do you see yourself in these years? Where do you see yourself after 10 years? And they are saying marriage is something after 40, after 35. We are not extremely comfortable with that kind of thing. I believe the colleges out there, you will help us to make sure our young people appreciate getting married early so that they can give us children early. That is something which we found very shocking, and I'm telling the truth. Yes, yes. We even had a debate on this matter, and it was a very hot debate, and the other side actually won. So that is something I found very strange in our young people. And the reason is they want to accumulate property. They say they want to first have a lot of money, big houses, big cars, before they can marry. I don't know where that theory comes from, <laughs> but that is what they are saying. What we found in these interns, contrary to what many people are saying, that the youth are not interested in agriculture, these people have a genuine interest in agriculture. To the extent that we were interviewing some of them and we asked, what is your hobby? And someone saying, farming is my hobby. I feel nice to be involved in farming. And there has been a rumor that the youth are not interested in agriculture. So I'm wondering, that rumor is getting this data from which source? Am I telling the truth? Because we thought maybe their parents forced them to go and do agriculture, but they have a genuine interest in agriculture. And for me, that is good news for people who have been trying to create more room for employment for the youth in agriculture. So apart from that, we are very happy as Goody Leisure Farm to host you here. We always have so many events. We run a training that goes on more or less every week for leaders of smallholder farmers in the districts we work in. We are in 11 districts. We are pioneering in the organic farming. We are glad to say that we have eight products that can make you 100% organic in your agriculture. We have a weed master, we have um, a pesticide, we have a soil enhancer, we have a stimulant, we have everything that you require to be organic in plants. For the animals, we have done an acaricide, and it is working, it is working on the animals, and I'm told the animals, farmers have been having problems, but we have done that, we have done ogre fume for the animals, and we are also happy to inform you that we won a grant of BioInnovate where we are going to be making an insect repellent, especially for mosquitoes. This is an East Africa competition that we won, and we are proud to be part of that. What is it that you are going to see probably when you come back next year? We are going to be a fully registered directorate of industrial training assessment center. We also have a program here where we train managers of farms. They come stay with us for the whole month. We take them through what you require as a, a farm manager, how to manage the human resource, how to keep the record, performance targets, everything. 
but we, have, we are not giving them nationally recognized certificates. We are becoming a DIT assessment center. Next, we are going to have a fully fledged white meat incubation center. Come 2019, young people will come here with different ideas of what, how they want to process their white meat. They will come out with different products, sausages, salami, name it, burgers, to go and sell with their own name. In so doing, we are trying to increase consumption of white meat. There are people here who are only consuming our white meat when they are taking chicken as stew, but we want you to take a sausage in the morning, maybe a snack of a certain sausage, and maybe at lunchtime and in the evening you roast it. We want to increase consumption. In so doing, we shall be able to create markets for the smallholder farmers that are actually doing all this to add value to their maize that will be at a lower price right now. So thank you for being part of Woody Farm. Enjoy every moment. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, Madam Gudula, Naiga Basaza, our director here. Uh, what she forgot to tell you is that she's a man woman. <laughs> yeah, all the interns, they, are never, they say they have never seen a woman like this. <laughs> that is not true. She's an intelligent woman, and whatever she does, you feel like, how has this one come? Everything she does, she remains, you remain with a question mark in your head. I think she deserves what she's doing. And we pray for her that she even continues. And Madam, may please, may you continue to uh, extend the emancipation. And I think what is failing most of us not to think about marriage is because we are worried that we may not get a person like you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so thank you very much. Uh, we are continuing with our program. So let us have a representative in turn from uh, Agricultural College, Mbarara. You are highly welcome. Directors of Woody Laser Farm, the visitors invited, our fellow interns, given I'm called Musi Editas, given to the behalf of students at the Training College. We arrived here on 16th June 2018. In doing our stay here, we managed to acquire different skills from different sectors. In, in, in those sectors are figure, portrait, crop, where we are allocated to do six box gardens to grow agricultural crops. We did vermiculture. The vermiculture is the science of rearing as one. And in all those activities, we picked out of skills from there. Our stay here, we hope it was so colorful because we managed to share our knowledge with the farm, and the farm also shared their knowledge us. We want, we want to thank our director, Damurra, for the support she provided to us, the care, meals, shelter, and every facility. Thank you very much. We want to thank the coordinators from Chela at College who connected us this farm and really it was so good because we picked what we what we expected again i want to thank the, the farm workers they also showed us good discipline and they gave us what they had thank you very much Again, I want to thank the, <coughs> my fellow interns for the cooperation they showed us. 
Thank you very much. Recommendations. We as agriculturists, we recommend the farm to employ many as possible instructors to help the future interns that are going to come for them to take more skills than we took. We also recommend the farm to take up this, the, the idea of mechanization because everything here is done manually and you know what is always done manually takes a lot of time to be completed. So we encourage the farm to take the idea of mechanization. With the interest of time, I wish everybody nice and sensual. Yeah, thank you very much. The representative from Chela. He comes from Western and he's a, good, a very good politician. He always says he's the lamp of Mitoma. So if you are from Mitoma, <laughs> be ready to vote for him. Yeah, thank you very much. So without wasting time, let us have yet another representative of the interns. And that is the last one from Fisheries Training Institute in Tebe, members of the State House. <laughs> this is our guest of honor, the director, managers, and all the good leisure farm workers and towns. Good evening. My name is Mutakuwa Lawrence from the Fisheries Training Institute in Tebe. And on behalf of the fisheries in town, I'm here to give a thanksgiving speech. I'll begin by thanking the Almighty God who gave us throughout this internship period. We are all alive. Priest members, let us clap for the Almighty God. Yes, I'll continue thanking our director, Madame Gudrabasaza, and the family for the love and care they have accorded to us ever since we joined this place. Madam, there is no single way that we can ever pay you, but we promise to always pray for you and the family. We promise to always uphold the name and dignity of Good Leisure Farm, wherever we go. I'll continue thanking the manager of Good Leisure Farm, Mr. Musa. Sir, we are so grateful for the skills and good ideas the Lawrence taught us ever since we joined here. Time management, following instructions. <laughs> I did, sir. And in fact, the manager has been treating all of us with equity. We are so grateful, sir. Thank you. I'll continue to thank the farm consultant. Mister, you can wave to them. <laughs> Yes. So we are so grateful. He has been a very good teacher and, and counselor ever since we joined. He has taught us so many things concerning fish and poultry and in fact he is an expert. Thank you very much. So we shall always remember you and pray for you. Let me take this opportunity to thank the workers of Good Leisure Farm, the catering team, Madam Bond uh, and all the other workers for the love and in fact they have, they have been so friendly to us. Thank you very much. Our internship program began on 18th of July 2018 and up to now the summit 18th September we, have, we are completing it today. We have been able to learn a lot of things things to do with fish, where we started fish handling. This is indicated by the many harpers that we constructed in our different ponds. We have been able to learn pond construction. And in fact, right now in this thing, all the fisheries team are experts in that. You can always call us wherever I have a pond to construct, wherever I have a fish farm to manage. We are experts and we can do that to the best. We have learned 
different business ideas taught by Madame Gudra, writing business proposals, holistic life mapping, uh, problem solving, and so many model canvases. In fact, I never knew that I would ever, actually I never heard of model canvases. But yeah. Madame, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll continue uh, thanking, uh, thanking God for the entire farm. In fact, this farm is so different from all the internship presses that uh, we have. Uh, this farm, first of all, we came not expecting anything like meals and accommodation, but we are so surprised when we came here and we have a, a very good dormitory where we have been staying. We are given delicious meals. In fact, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, I'll conclude. Then. I'll conclude uh, by uh, by thanking everyone, our guests, your different characters, and I, and I pray for you. Actually, I wish you nice journeys back home. And I encourage you to the right place. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Lawrence. Yeah, so uh, as Madame Goodula told you, that these interns have prepared for you a very good meal. We have been told in catering here. This is a leisure farm, so anything concerning leisure food is not miss. So uh, we are going to first go for uh, a break for some for some kind of little food and then after we shall come back for the programs and i promise that you want to partner and unfortunately i have not had time to come and see what she was doing so today i think it's a very lucky day for me i have come and i even found big activity like this i'm really so impressed i didn't imagine that it was like this you know many people come and look for partnerships but Sometimes we think that people are just maybe looking for money, you know, <laughs> these days, you know. Mm. There are many NGOs, you know, but uh, I'm really shocked that uh, you are doing this marvelous thing. Uh, they uh, have been introduced. I'm in charge of our extension services. Extension services, that is extending knowledge and technology and information and skills to our farmers and other uh, users of the knowledge. And uh, whereas I have been mainly working with the public sector, but uh, our policy of extension says that also we can coordinate and work with the private non-state actors. So Good Leisure Farm is one such non-state actor, and our policy gives you really the environment within which to work. I'm so impressed that you are doing this enormous work. And I'm happy that you are even bring it with your family because at least there is sustainability. But I'm really so happy that these young people, the way they have been, you know, you are not just te te teaching them agricultural skills, but also to talk. They are so eloquent. Then, of course, to go and do business and practice what they are, you know, what they are, they are, they have learned here. So this is really, I see it really as challenging even to my sector. For me, the people that I I teach, I look after, they go and give knowledge to other people. But most probably they are not even using that knowledge. Mm -hmm. And you have always been, you know, challenging them. How can you teach someone to go and get rich while for you, you are really poor and you have all the knowledge. So our principles here, I think that is a challenge to you as well. I don't know whether before you have graduates go away, whether you maybe challenge them to make like some business profiles, so that when they go back, you can also, you know, see what they are doing. But also, you, you know, from our workshop uh, in Jinja, I also challenged you that do you really follow up your students when they graduate? What do they do? Maybe in your curriculum, you should have some bit of follow up to see what these people do, especially those who are doing business to see really are they, or maybe also intensify this type of, you know, of uh, internship. <laughs> The universities, we really have a lot of problems. Maybe the universities should also be coming here. Universities, they really do theory, book knowledge, and they go away. When we recruit them and send them to the field, they are totally at a loss. They take long to know what to do. 
if they don't have good mentors and good you know directors to help them to attach them to other senior people they can really even the farmers will not value them so this type of training the hands on i value it very much maybe we should do, i don't know whether maybe you have an opportunity to go to these colleges and what you talk and you show them the videos how people can be inspired this what you are doing so they can also come here even voluntarily and you have to sell yourself sometimes maybe as professionals, we are not very good at selling and marketing ourselves. I was even shocked to know that even have a TV, a small organization like this, I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> so really, <laughs> I, want, eh? I want to see it, to really watch it. So I can see that you have lots of ideas, you and your directors, your family, and as government, you have already talked to my, to my peers, I want to really see how we can work together, especially to interest graduates before we can, maybe when we, when we recruit, we should really bring them here to do, it will not be maybe internship, but it will be like, I don't know. Apprenticeship, we do apprenticeship I think so, yes. because they just have book knowledge, so they can, hear, they can come here for intubation, maybe for, even if it is just two months before they can go to the field. I'm going to say this idea too. Uh, the people that I work with, so that we can also be skilled. And I know that we are already uh, in the process of having an MOU, so maybe that MOU you are also going to review and put that we want you to do for us at uh, this intubation. Because we are just writing, but I didn't know what you are doing. Now I'm clearer of what is there, and then we can now review it and see. Because when she came, I was giving her an idea of maybe trying to promote ICT. Because someone with a TV, with you know, books like this one, so she's already doing, you know, communication. So I was, that was what I was trying to do with her. But now I think the internship, the hands-on, I think is much more practical as we also pursue this one. So I'm happy that I came and I'm going to interest, to interest other people to come and see what they're doing. Thank you very much and congratulations. So, great pleasure to be here. I'm Tony Decker. I'm working at uh, the Swedish University of Agriculture. We came with a group of people from Sweden in the trajectory from education to application. So, Madame, I, I uh, totally echo your words. So sometimes, <coughs> at, uh, you know, in education and research, we do one thing and the practice is something else. And much of what we learn or what we do research on never finds their way into application. So we really would like to see not only that the, this research and education leads to something practical in the field, but also give students a global perspective in, 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 in uh, agriculture. Accelerate is a program that um, concerns agri-food and enhancing agri-food and the global businesses around it. Um, we are very interested in sustainable agriculture. We are like, what is it now, seven billion people on the earth. We must be able, with all the brain capacity we have, to engage our brains into finding solutions that are sustainable. Now, Good Elation Farm is, is, is a good example of that. We have been visiting around. Uh, uh, around Kampala, several other farms as well. There's been very giving and getting ideas and innovations, see how they were born, and some actually find their way into into application to businesses, other don't. But it's good to, to, to see the possibilities that exist. And for our students, that has been extremely giving. Or for, for, and I say for our students, that's been very giving for me as well. That's been very inspiring to see the very, very good ideas that come about. Um, I, we have been talking to Arthur on, on the gas, uh, on biogas making, on the earthworm uh, permaculture, uh, um, the fish cultures. It's fantastic to see how knowledge can be brought together into a place like this to actually teach people to make agribusiness. And we need agribusiness, it's not just science. Sustainability, uh, su sustainable uh, agri food um, is, is a business. And we need to think of ways of, of, make, of supporting this. So, um, as a representative of SLU, I, um, I thank Goody. We've been in contact for some time, what, a year or so? We've been corresponding about uh, um, uh, vermiculture. And um, I think there's a lot more synergy to be achieved. And that's uh, what Accelerate is about, why, why you master in. And so we learn a lot from you. So thank you very much. Uh, guest of honor, uh, uh, that is from Maif, uh, 
and uh, the director of this farm for protocol observed invited guests thank you very much for honoring the invitation of Dr. Gudra Dr. Gudra, thank you very much for inviting us. <coughs> uh, you have added uh, a lot of value on me today. Mm -hmm. uh, you sometimes sit in some other places, but <laughs> I think there is a lot of value here. Uh, to be honest, if it was not Gudra's initiative, our students wouldn't be here. Uh, I got in touch with my principal. She told me that uh, you had come there. But we had a lot of miscommunication between uh, ourselves there. And eventually we were almost giving up. But you kept on sending messages and until, because I'm the coordinator of industrial training at Fisheries Training Institute. And when I got it clear that you wanted interns, then I started moving among the students and they were saying, What is there? What is in that place? You know, this place, I, I never heard about it, you know? So, you know, I first recorded two uh, interested interns. Others came by saying, let's go and see what is there. But I can assure you that uh, when I came to assess them, oh, they were very happy. And all of them have given you credits. And I think I'll combine them and I give you a distinction. Thank you very much for really adding value to these youngsters and thank you very much for having such a place uh, which supplies oxygen, no <laughs> dust to the surrounding community. Really, I'm looking forward to sending more students here and since I've seen the place, I think I interest more students to come here. I thank you very much. Hopefully, we shall always be in touch and more people will get more value from here. Thank you very much. Hello, Lule, and I am the principal of Kalas Agricultural College. The chief, uh, our dear chief guest, the director, my director. I think protocol would have been that maybe I talk first, <laughs> then <laughs> my director would talk later. Uh, the directors of <laughs> Director of music. He's uh, one of the directors. <laughs> Good leisure farm. I think uh, today I am quite amazed and uh, pleasantly surprised. I'm very happy that uh, Good Life have been persistent with Bukalasa. With any other person, you would have given up. I don't give up. But you didn't give up. I think I, I now understand, I think you had the, the same challenges with, with the fisheries. But uh, when I come to Goody Leisure Farm, I would have sat on two chairs. The first chair would have been Bukalasa. Maybe that would be the second. Then I would also have sat on the alumni chair mm -hmm. because there was a time when I came to Goody Leisure Farm <coughs> and uh, I came, the way I was brought in, I was brought as a consultant. But when I left, I was a trainee. <laughs> I came to look at the, the dream by then it was a dream how can we make this one a reality I walked around with the good with the good luck you know I am an extensionist by training with the extension you listen understand where the person is so that you can also add your voice we walked around for about one and a half hours. I didn't have a chance to talk. <laughs> I walked around. There was a lot. It was bush all around. But it was the vision. You could see that everything was now open. I could see what you are seeing today, even before it happened. 
people. Goodler has been persistent, had a vision, and now we are moving towards the reality. I'm happy that when it came, you also remembered that Bukalasa should be part of the network. And I'm happy you are able to bring, his, to bring us on board. I'm very grateful for the foundation that it has been able to help us come this far. Our dear chief guest, we thank you so much for what you have done for us. Now, I have two ambassadors, three ambassadors. They would have been more. But our curriculum, the current curriculum, is designed in such a way that the ambassadors we have today have completed. But I will not allow them to go away from Bukalasa before they share this good news with their colleagues. So Dorothy and Maureen, where are they? Yes. Dorothy, where is Maureen? Please. Oh, you are, please, the moment you leave Bukalasa, you know we are starting again in September, come back and share the good news at Good Leisure Farm. Because when you were coming here, I believe you had a lot that you did not expect. But when you came here, you found it different. That's why I sent a good team to come because I was being asked so many questions. Then I said, please, Seeing is believing. Please, you go there. And good enough, when I, look, I read through here, they also had some contribution. So we believe we have started a very good and strong network. You have also expanded ours, and we, are, we shall be continuing. Very soon, with the new team, we are soon sending you another group. Thank you so much. Uh, Director of Good, good Luck, uh, Political Observed, good evening. Uh, I'm so grateful to be at Good Luck, and really I'm so amazed. And uh, normally this is what we always uh, encourage our students to do. Normally we encourage them to learn as they earn. You know, when they are learning uh, as well uh, earning, it is very important for them, it motivates them. <coughs> and uh, normally, uh, I'm so impressed by such an integration here. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm so well convinced that our students have learned so much here. And uh, I request them, at least after here, uh, when they go back to the institute, or the colleges, at least try to share with your friends eh? what you've learned here. They also share with you what they have learned from other areas, such that you integrate the knowledge. Mm? Yeah, it can help you in the near future. Uh, also, uh, when you go back to your communities, uh, try to share this with, uh, uh, with the community, because it can help them save. Because you see, uh, uh, this farm, uh, encourages uh, the urban farming. When you are having a very small piece of land, mm. you, you find you're growing on the veranda's and uh, you find you much saving. Eh? You find the money you're spending in the market is being saved now. And that one is very important. Uh, the directors of this farm, uh, I thank you uh, very much for coming up with such an idea. And uh, I'm so grateful and uh, I thank you for such a partnership you're having with different institutes. It's very, very, very important. And thanks for that heart. And uh, lastly, uh, I just wish each and everybody Jane Masses. Thank you very much. We have been trained in entertainment and we have practiced more than enough. <laughs> But it is you to judge us. <laughs> but according to us, we have practiced more than enough. Uh, so meanwhile, the DJ is going to be looking for our song.
And then I will request all those people who are prepared in the group song. Please come forward for it as the DJ is preparing for it. And then we entertain our visitors. You know, every after food, you have to make some exercise. And the Swedish team will give us one later. <laughs> yes, it's a promise. Farming and farming as a business, all these things must be integrated. You must understand them. And this is what is happening here. So uh, our elder was, was, was worried that some of these things are not happening. But clearly, you can't have 
this level of organization without systems running. Systems must be running accounts. Someone must be in HR to understand how the human resources are, you know, reinforcing each other and so on and so forth. Team building, I like this. This is part of team building. You know, to work together, to reinforce each other, to understand, you know, together how things work. So for me, really, Dr. Goodman, this is very inspirational. Very inspiration. You say model farm. We've been going to Kari, Kawanda Research Institute and going to Naro to pick this, to pick that, and so on and so forth. But now this is a demonstration farm. 13 acres is no mean achievement. These are 13 acres. All these enterprises are sitting here. And we can work together, we can grow these enterprises together. Because this is not her business. It's not his business. You know, one other thing that is a matter of when you establish a business, it ceases to be yours. It is for the customer. It ceases to be yours. Immediately you establish a business. The thinking is yours. Immediately you establish a business, it ceases to be yours. And the customer can close that business. The customer, the client, has the power to close that business the following day. And we have examples you can give. So part of what you learn here is exactly how to work with our people, other people. Okay? How to, because we always say the customer is key. People are coming here to pick the seedlings, to pick. The way Dr. Budula speaks to all these people is an, inspira is an inspiration to all of us. It should be an inspiration. I've sat with her in the boardroom. I sit with her in different places. And the partnership, it's not for nothing. It's not just occurring that Dr. Bodhi has got this kind of leads coming from Sweden, coming from California, coming from I don't know where. The partnerships, the integrity, the trust, the honesty, people matters a lot in business, if your business is going to grow and succeed. And this is what we see here. So I'm really, I'm really very thankful to Dr. Woodrow's entrepreneurship. Because this is something to reckon with, as I said at the beginning. Something that we must learn from. Young or old, schools should come should be coming here to learn from to learn from this. Many things are happening here. From, from agronomy to manufacturing. We have seen all these products are here. <laughs> People should be coming, and we've been looking at how can we commercialize this commercial production because this is something that is not elsewhere. You go to the market, you go to all these areas, yeah, narrow and so on, not real to castigate narrow. I know they are doing a lot, but there are unique products that I've seen here that I've not seen elsewhere. Correct me if I'm wrong. And you're already saying, no, 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 I must go with, <laughs> what is this? Uh, Odafium. Uh -huh. That is something that I really also want to carry, to carry myself away with. <laughs> so it's, it's, um, it's really very encouraging that these products are coming to the market to help the farmers, to help schools, to help, you said you have a school, to help all these institutions. You know, when you hear what is happening in Kirudu, and people are saying, ah, now the sewage, look at Kirudu. Oh, no. Some of these things should really be helping us. Yes. If we have commercial production and people can really be able to buy them in large quantities, so the capacity to do this, it's not has only, now government has to come in. Because the science has worked, we now have a product. How do we do mass production? Now, that ceases to be the work of the scientist. It now becomes the work of the entrepreneur now. And I think um, for us as private sector, we are played bound to really help this kind of entrepreneurship, this kind of... Because they are very, very enterprising. They are industrial, they are enterprising, and I, I will go back and work, work on this. I know, <laughs> she knows what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll, I, but it's something that really we really must thank Dr. Bunda for.
and really for the guidance, for the mentorship, for the support that you're giving, especially the small farmers. When you mention 11 districts and more than 6,000 farmers, 60, 000, you say 6,000. 62,000 62, farmers across 11 districts. This is Not many of our entrepreneurs are doing this. So, where is the government place in this? Because this is what we want to look at. So government, the private sector, I think we must join hands through a PPP, through research, through entrepreneurship, <coughs> through marketing of what, what is here, so that we can be able to all benefit. Something else that I thought maybe Dr. Goodler could pay attention to is uh, the certification. Certification, I think, is yet to be done. Mm, something that maybe we need to work on so that we have those marks because we are we are now going into the market mm. so after you have done the laboratory work and so on and so forth now we need to work on the certification of the, of the product so, so that we are able to do uh, mass production and be able to market but beyond that really this evening is really to appreciate the good work that your team you and your team and the rest of the partners have been able to help us do, and have been able to help us demonstrate to the interns that keep, and, and I was really very happy when I saw the, alum, the uh, alumni. The alumni are here, and Dr. Gudula whispered to me that actually these interns have invited in their parents as well. Some of them are here. Some of the uh, parents are here. Really to appreciate the good things that are going on here. But also when we go back, because they may not have the capital to start. So we look to the fathers, we look to the mothers, we look to the guardians to really help these people. You know the likes of, um, what is your name again? Francis. Francis. Francis and uh, Adrian. Adrian. The likes of these people, maybe a few. <laughs> so, the likes of Francis and uh, Edwin may be few, but again we look to the guardians, the parents, really to support these interns. On startup capital, it's very important because when we went around and we are listening to all these people, how they explain, I think the level of understanding <coughs> of the enterprise is very high. Even before they came, and I really want to thank the Fisheries Training Institute, I want to thank the, all the other, Bukalasa, uh, you have done a wonderful job. This job is not just coming from yes. I think, and uh, you are very careful in choosing the kind of interns that you host. I think you are very careful in that, because all of them have got a very high level of entrepreneurship, the understanding of the business and how they want to perfect it. I think when we went around, for culture, this lady here was wonderful. <laughs> the engineer, the mechanical engineer who was the other side, this one here was very wonderful. All these people who have been explaining to us, I think from uh, for the fish, the fish. The snack, one, all of them, uh, we really want to thank you and encourage you in your breathing and you can make it. You can make it. Okay? So the entrepreneurship that you have been able to build, the support that you have got, both from the parents but also from the training institute, and even here, can help you to propel, to be able to go forward, regardless of the amount of capital. <coughs> we were somewhere, I think it was, um, someone was explaining to us, I think it was him or someone, was explaining to us about the amount of capital that you would need in the fish. I think it was 800 or 800,000 or something like that. Maybe 1 million or 1.6 million. 1.6. I think that's what they say. Now, this is something that the parents really can, can do. And help these people start up a fish, a fish uh, business. And when you perfect it, you can be able to train others because you have got the knowledge from here. And knowledge must be transformation. So don't just get the knowledge and keep it to yourselves. Knowledge must be, you must... You must be able to use that knowledge and give it to others to be able to use it as well. So I'm really very happy once again 
that we have all been able to pull, to pull together this evening. And I really want to reiterate our pledge as PSFU to the enterprise, the integrated enterprise that we see here in this evening. Thank you very much. Robert? <laughs> oh. So I think they are all. They are all the same. So the certificate reads, because some some of you may not be able to. It reads, certificate of appreciation is given by Goody Ledger Farm. Certificate of appreciation awarded to. Fisheries Training Institute for partnering with Goody Leisure Farm during the summer internship program. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. This one goes to Kalasa Agricultural College. Thanks for the partnership. Thank you. Congratulations. This one goes to to private sector foundation. Hey, it's you. <laughs> no, I was looking for someone. There was someone here. Has he gone? Someone Where is gone? Isaac? Isaac is not here. Okay, okay. So you give okay, it to me. Okay, now I give it to you. And he smiled. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. This one goes to Kiera Agriculture Training College. So, this is Uh -huh. So, now, that one was for the partners, institutions. This one will go to the set of interns that we have, that we are graduating today. And it reads, again from Goody Leisure Farm, Certificate of Attendance, awarded to, your name will be read, for successful completion of an entire 60-day internship, that is 32 credit units, with competencies gained, holistic life mapping, I think this is the area of competencies that have been gained, holistic life map mapping, business planning and management in poultry, piggery, aquaculture, horticulture and also in production of low cost feeds and climate smart zero, waste farming and soft skills. Okay, now I, I will talk about soft skills at the end because that is very important and I'm happy it's part of the curricula here. Okay, I will, I will talk, talk about it again. So this one goes to Sima Edmond. So, so you are not in any specific order. It's not that he has been the best. Okay. So thank, thank you so much and uh, congratulations. Okay. This goes to our head as a constant. You pick, pick for him, pick for her. There is that. No, this is not her name. You just picking. <laughs> you are just picking. Uh -huh. So you wait for a time. Uh -huh. Good. And this is uh, Akanyi Juka. Akanyi Juka. Congratulations. Kabanjara Lode. Okay. Enoch, Enoch Kamani. Davis, next, Davis, Davis, Enoch Kamani. 
Thank you and congratulations. <coughs> Noa Manya. Noa Manya pose. Congratulations. Ida Smith to hire Julia. Congratulations. To Mumbane. To Mumbane. Ida. Congratulations. And thanks for the talk. Smith. Louis Smith. Mumba. Kumanya Nick. Kumanya Nick. Who has a new stone? Whose stone is not known? <laughs> Kumanya. Can't see next. Can't see. Can't see next. Take for can. Can't see. Take for can. Navasa. Navasa. Next. Viola next. Navasa. 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 Next, next. Okay, next. Next is Peter. Peter. Send a gire. Peter, send a gire. Oruga. Oruga. Next. Mario, next. Are you ready, next? Oruga. You are the one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, you've been. Uh, <laughs> take, take. No, the rest is on. Okay. 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 Uh, Martin. Martin, you are next. Next is uh, Ivan. Don't stand by. Don't stand by. Lawrence, you next. Martin. Ivan, Ivan. Lawrence, don't stand by. Lawrence. Uh, Jimmy next. Congratulations. Haruna next. Be quick, be quick. Jonathan next. Immaculate next. <laughs> Immaculate there. Not there you can keep it. You are immaculate? No, wait, wait. Sorry, Maureen, you are next. Okay. You are next. Dorothy next. Maureen. Dorothy next. Uh, wa, wa, Wakid, not here. Ndahura, not here. Uh, Ndahura, yes. Now we have Mary, not here. Then uh, these are facilitators. But some of them are here. Marcelino, not here. Mugasa, not here. Uh, Baguta, not here. Uh, Tungewazi, not here. Uh, Peter Tui, not here. Akwine, not here. Our uh, alumina. Alumina. Yes. Thank you, thank you for always remembering. Adrian, look back. here. Yeah? Good. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Oruga. Oh, this is mine. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. 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 Yes. Uh -huh. so congratulations. And thank you. Elizabeth Ngom, not here. Ah, uh, engineer. Is engineer still here? Engineer. After you have one, maybe read what read. I think they haven't got what read. So this one, this one is again different from the others. It reads certificate of appreciation. Awarded to engineer Arthur Wanyala Rebecca is for here. inspiring in turns to embrace Peter. the life prepared. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So thank you so much for a wonderful work. Thank you so much. And congrats. Now we we'll go back to Immaculate Najemba. Uh, I don't mind you get him. Hey. Uh, we are we are done. We are done. Good. <laughs> Thank you.